Hello everybody and welcome to my SketchUp videos. Today I want to show you something else other than houses that I do in SketchUp. Yes, according to some people, it seems like all I ever do is houses, so I want to show you something a little different called commercial spaces, which I am deeply aware of the different aspects of commercial space, retail space, office space, and a few other spaces that don't involve residential in any way, shape, or form. So I will make several things that I've done with commercial spaces. This one here is just a simple strip mall that I basically decorated. So we'll have a look around. Sorry if this thing is a little slow. Alright, so what you're going to see is this, though, is a basic commercial space. It shows most aspects that you will see in various commercial space design, such as the retractable ceilings, these kinds of lights, rubber plastic baseboards, very simple flooring, and lots of space inside. I mean, this is a store space. Yeah. Here are bathrooms, storage, and other than that, there would be a storeroom in the back where they would get deliveries. We'll go in. As you can see, here's the back room. The reason why this is so big is because it's a big store. No, not all stores are like that. No, not all stores have this loading dock in the back. Actually, we'll... Sorry about that. This computer keeps jumping. Sorry about that. So we came back through here. Move outside. We'll see the loading dock. Then here are just some small stores that... Um, have a, either a small back room or just a back door in general. I mean, of course, all spaces need to have back doors. And then here's a little bit bigger of a shop, not too big. Then commercial spaces have um, traditional uniform air conditioning units, and another thing is vents that aren't randomly placed, but strategically placed for the bathrooms or sometimes if you had like your air conditioning on the inside you would need vents weather stripping and usually when you see commercial spaces you're thinking something very repetitive it is like see the windows and the doors and what you see on the inside yeah, very repetitive. And here's a somewhat bigger store. Then there was that anchor store on the end. Now, although as plain as it is to begin with, you sometimes actually they would have concrete or even dirt floors. Yeah, I've seen these. Where the before, when they're brand new and you'd see a lease sign in the window. And also as plain as you see them. So when stores come in to um, occupy the space, you would actually see like... I don't know, I mean, they would redesign the the interior as to their um, style, so. And a friend has actually already decorated this. He's our, Some stores have already moved in, and you will see that here in just a second. And I mean, you can do anything you want with these, really. And yes, the link will be in the description, so you can download it and put your own things in them, too. My friend Cordell, yeah, he's very good at this stuff. He put um, different sto varying stores inside. 
as you can see. And also, even when you look inside and you see how each store is decorated differently. I mean, but just like real life, though. Yeah, just like real life. See the different styles inside the stores. And here's the back area. I mean, it's the same where there, I mean, it's the back door here. But every store has been redecorated to suit, to suit the need of that franchise or that chain. I mean, stores would be somewhat different. So yeah, that's just an example of what you could do with this. Commercial, you can do anything you want. And look at this, man. This goes to show you just how talented some people are. Walls were added. And like I said, real life has it this way too. Now before you, I know you can do this, but before you get started, I'd recommend you getting yourself a little used to, very used to what commercial space is entitled, what their sizes are, because I mean there are very standard sizes you are to use for commercial space, especially if you want to put a lot of people in it, you know, you have to know what materials, also the size, and how many different aspects the building can see. As I said before, I mean, because I mean, at first you see it's very, very, very generic, very plain, just stalls, really. And that's all it is, right? Stalls. And yes, these are structural support pillars. Now, whenever you see those, those aren't to be removed, because those are what hold up the building. So you have to work around them. As you can see, very gen very basic bathrooms, back rooms, etc. The bigger the store, the more likely it's going to have more space in the back. I like this little store here, there's not much in the back. We'll have to use the section plane tool for this one. And like I said again, you know what I mean, the addition of walls, or the subtract, no, generally no subtraction of walls. And you can have in any varying configurations. Alright everybody, that was the end of this video for the introduction of commercial spaces. Some t they're not actually that most interesting. You'd have to actually do things like how I did with these strip mall here, like the front of it, to spruce it up a little bit. But, it, but they're really not to be meant to be that interesting, um, just because they want, need to be used for a whole variety of different purposes. The, 
is the more decoration and um, what else they have, you know, the less purposes they can generally have. So, that's why. And I mean, in like these big office towers, for the most part, they're not that interesting. But, it's what happens. So, they're very functional. Walls can be moved for cubicle space. All right, everybody, that was it. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please rate, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. All right, bye-bye. More to come.